Okay, how do I share this? go live really quick on my Facebook also one second Just sharing this to my Facebook pages. One moment. One moment. All right. Okay. So hello, my name is Heather with Creepy Holiday Stuff, and I love to create styrofoam head art. Um, today, I, I don't normally go live on my YouTube, but I thought, you know what, I'm going to go live. It's been quite a while. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a tutorial on how I do a simple version of painting eyes on a styrofoam head. Um, if you are watching, can you please let me know if you can hear me? Um, let me see if I can find it. I got to make sure my sound is working because I'm not used to going live on YouTube. Let's see. Oh, great. There's a commercial. Um, while I'm waiting to see, hopefully, okay, good. I can be heard. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a tutorial on how I paint styrofoam heads. I'm going to do it the simplest way. And then when I'm done doing the eyes, I'm going to go to my Facebook page, creepy holiday stuff. And I'm going to paint this design that I drew on here. It's the Grinch holding an ornament. So if you uh, would like to see that, you can go to my page after this tutorial. So I want to say too, please excuse my nails. I had these nails on for so long. I've been trying to get them off and I only got some of them off and it looks really ghetto. So I'm embarrassed about them, but sorry. Um, okay. Let's get started. So I'm going to take a liner brush and I'm going to get some black. And this is a styrofoam head from um, Hobby Lobby. And as you can see, they already have kind of... Um, where the eyes are. So what you want to do is for this particular head that I'm doing, I'm just going to kind of follow along the um, indent here of the eye shape with my pencil. And you have to be careful because sometimes these styrofoam heads, sometimes they're not molded. I mean, the eyes are not even. So you really got to kind of look and uh, readjust if you need to, the shape, okay? Now I'm gonna have the top of the eyeball um, hidden underneath the eye top eyelid and then touching the bottom. So I'm gonna start about right here, come around. And most of the eye is hidden underneath the top. You want to look on each, the inner corners and the outer corners to make sure you don't have too much white on one side and um, less on the other. So look at the head straight on. As if she's looking at you. And then look how much white you have on each side to kind of adjust it to look more even. So that looks kind of close. 
I think this eyeball is a little too big. Okay, so just like that. I'm going to dampen my brush and just dab it. Make sure you get the water off because when you get water up here, it'll drip down to your paint and make a mess. So I'm going to squirt out a little bit of black. And go over my outline. Kind of curve the inner area where the tear duct area will be. Simply start that way. And I like to have a little curve here in the outer corner of the eye. Our eyes are going to be kind of big. And if you're watching this video, I would appreciate it if you would share. And if you haven't subscribed, subscribe. I upload a lot of videos, um, Facebook live videos of my styrofoam head art. Now, if you mess up on the outline, don't worry. I can fix that later with touch-ups. Like this one, I kind of messed up and one looks bigger, but that's okay. I can fix that. Okay, looks kind of uneven right now, but that'll change. There's always an ugly part of painting. It's the beginning. Okay, so now I'm going to get some white and get my first coat of white, the white part of the eyes. And I'm using a satin by Decor Americana. It was on sale, so I couldn't beat the price. 44 cents, cotton ball. It's a nice, bright white. So we'll get the white in here, first coat. Again, don't worry if it's messy. You know, you go out of the lines. That can all be touched up later. You just want to get this coat on here. If you're watching, if you can leave any kind of comment, just so I can see if comments work. Um, right now, I don't see any comment. If I don't respond, that means you're watching the replay of this. <laughs>
Or actually, if I don't respond, that means that my comments aren't working. <laughs> okay. So that's the first coat of the white. Now for this particular head um, on my Facebook page, I'm going to be painting a Grinch. I already have it drawn out, which you can see it here. It's going to come around. It's going to be holding an ornament. So I was looking at that and trying to figure what color eyes I want to use. And um, I was going to do brown, but I thought, you know what? I'm going to go with a green. I'm going to use um, crystal green. I thought it would complement with the red and the green that's going to be on the Grinch. So I'm going to use DecoArt Dazzling Metallics Crystal Green. Thank you for the thumbs up. I see a thumbs up there. Yes. All right, so we're going to start with a coat on. Not too much. Don't worry if you go over your pupil. We'll get that back. We'll get it back. Start with a coat. Good morning. Good morning, Spooky. Thanks for popping in. Just doing an eye tutorial. And after I finish the eyes, I'm going to go to my Facebook page and paint the rest of the face with a Grinch design. Okay, so my eyes are not even. And this is your time take advantage of fixing it. So I can see this one is obviously smaller than that one. So I'm just going to um, make this one smaller. And like I said, you have to watch out because these styrofoam heads are not always even when they mold them. So I'm going to thicken this one. up higher and this one I'm going to do lower. I need to do a little bit more green up here. Right now I'm just trying to get the eyes the right shape with each other. This one is too, too much white. And if you end up with too much there, you just use your base paint to fix that. The base paint on this head is a natural beige. Um, I believe ceramic coat. You got to be careful because if you get natural beige deco art Americana, it's not going to be the same as ceramic coat. All right, so I'm going to bring a wing up here a little bit. Give her a nice winged eyes. Some of this will be hidden um, behind the eyelashes. Oh, 
whoa, I went too far. That's okay. We'll just make it go up more. close. Okay, we'll work with that. We'll work with that. So I'm going to get the pupil back in this eye and the pupil in this eye. So look at the head straight on as if she's looking at you. And put a pupil right in the center. All right, so that's what we have so far. So now I'm going to use my liner and I'm going to go around, go around the outline of the iris. Then I'm just going to pull it in to the green. It dries fast, so you might have to come back and add some more. So you want the outside outline of the eye to be darker than the inside. You can even pull a little bit of that pupil out, and you just want to barely, just lightly pull it. Okay, clean the brush. Grab some white, and I always dab my hand if I get a ball on the tip because I don't want it to get too much. We're going to add a few dots around the eye, wipe the brush, and then just go around like a sun all the way around. If you have too much black, just add some more of your green. Like that, wipe the brush. Then I'm gonna get my green and from the outline, I'm gonna pull just a little bit in. You can do long lines, short lines, all the way around. We wanna make sure we don't lose the pretty green. Come back with your white in between the outline and the pupil. We're just going to do lines. This is the simplest way to do eyes. I put too much there. Okay, and then we just go around. Let me get some more black here because I'm into the. And go over my outline again. Wipe my brush, and I'm going to just pull in just a little bit of that black again. Very little. Clean my brush. Get the white again. Actually, let me adjust this pupil. It's kind of off-centered. There we go. Get my white again. Green. I just kind of go back and forth until I'm happy with the color. Let me 
maybe just a little more white. Okay, now I'm going to get my white and fix the um, outside here. Remember, if you go into the outline too much, it's okay. You can adjust it with your touch-ups. Going over my outline. Let me turn my fan on. Okay. A little bit more over this eye. Okay, now we're going to do the simplest highlight. Look at the eyeball as if it was, um, oh wait, hold on, I got to fix this. I screwed up here. Simplest highlight would be looking at this eyeball and thinking of it as a clock. And in between the iris and the pupil, if it was between 10 and 11 o'clock, you're just going to put a dot right there in between. And then between four and five, you're going to do a smaller. Easiest way to do um, a highlight. Okay. Before we get to the other eye. We're going to take some black eyeshadow. Make sure that eyeball is dry. And we're going to just go around, hopefully it's not wet still, go around that outline to give it some depth. Just a little on top. Okay, and then I'm actually going to take some red eyeshadow because you can paint the tear duct area but I like to cheat we're doing the simplest way to make an eye we're going to cheat by taking some red eyeshadow make sure you both get that fallout hi Jamie Jamie, I'm doing an eye tutorial here on YouTube, and then I'm going to go to my Facebook page, and I'm going to finish painting the rest of the head. I have a Grinch design, which I did not do here on YouTube, but I'm just doing the eyes on YouTube. But I'm going to go on my Facebook page to finish it. So it gives it a much more realistic look. Then I'm going to take my black since I already have it out. And I'm going to give it some underneath the eye. It's 
some nice shadowing underneath the eye. Oh, awesome. You're off today. So if you have a chance, you can jump on Facebook too and watch if you want. I thought I'd do this head, then run to the post office, and then I'm going to be sitting down and watching Hocus Pocus 2. I'm so excited to see it. I heard it's super good. Okay, so we're just getting some nice black. I'm not sure yet what I'm going to do with eyeshadow, but I want this black all around to give it a dramatic look. Okay. I'm going to glaze over that eye just to make it look good. Seal it in. Have to add a little more white to it because I got too much black in there. That's okay. I'm going to jump over to the other eyeball to get that done. So I'm going to add some more of this green. Then I'll take my black. Go over the outline. I think I made this eye too big still. I don't know. We'll see. It's good. I watched this morning at 5 a.m. Oh, you watched at 5 a.m.? Awesome. So it was good, huh? That's awesome. I can't wait to see it. I fixed this pupil. I got this pupil all stupid. Okay, just going around. I'm gonna bring in got a little more black on this eye, so it's gonna I have to adjust it. Get the darkness going around all the outline. Get some white. Go around. Then I'll get my green again, go around the outline. Get my pupil back, lost it. over this eye here. Go over the outline again. Then I kind of look to make sure the eyes are the same size. Some more white in here. And just a touch more green.
can just kind of go back and forth with your white and green to get it to look like the other eyeball. Let me fix this pupil again. Okay. I'll do the highlight. Now, let it dry a little bit and get out my eyeshadow. So I give that more of a chance to dry. I'm going to do my shadowing underneath. blow on it, get rid of that fallout. Okay, then I want to do the shadowing around the eye. get my red a little bit inside here I think I'm going to put a touch just a touch of white here because I messed it up Okay, and look at the eyes, see if they're close in shape. This one looks a little bit lighter. Let's go down a little lower. It's a little closer. Okay, 
good enough. A lot of that will be hidden with, um, will be hidden with the um, eyelashes. Okay, so let me go ahead and do her eyebrows because I might do her eyeshadow here too. She's not in good shape. Oh, dang it. <laughs> My hand slipped. Hand slipped. Oh my God, I don't know what's wrong with me. I got to move this. I think it's what's doing it. It's making me slip. <laughs> Jesus, criminies. Try this again. to do some touch-ups on with the base paint. Now this eyebrow. Looked a little bit off. going to be hidden underneath Grinch. <clears throat> you are still doing a wonderful job. Oh, thank you. Simply T. Thank you so much. 
So if you're just joining, um, I just did the eye tutorial here on YouTube and then um, I'm going to do the eyes and uh, eyebrows and stuff. But this design of the Grinch and everything and the rest of her face, I'll go on my um, Facebook page, Creepy Holiday Stuff, and paint it there. So if you have Facebook and you'd like to watch that, you can go on there after this. If you're interested. Okay, so his cheek is going to be right there. So I'm just going to curve it for now because I'm not sure how much. I do have to go higher. Made that too, too low. I'll have to use my base paint for that. Which I don't have. Okay, so let me think for a second. Um, I think I'm going to do red. Uh, I'm going to do a red line. Or no, a white line and then red. Let me see. I'm trying to think of what kind of eyeshadow. I think I want to use glitter too. Let me go ahead and glaze over this one eyeball before I do that. Just to seal it in. Okay. Let me see if I can get my, without knocking the camera, get my base paint to fix that right there. All right, guess my eyeshadow. Not sure yet how I'm going to do this side. It's going to be a little bit difficult because I'm going to be painting the Grinch over her eyeball, so it's going to be a little hard doing um, this eyeshadow here. A little better. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and um, I'm going to do a slight outline here. Even though I'm going to do that design on my Facebook page, I need to have that, that guide here. For the eyeshadow. That is not a dark enough green. But at least that'll give me a, a guide. So I know where I have to stop. And then his his collar. I know it looks weird, but I need that for reference. Okay, so let's see. I'm going to go ahead and take some red. And let's see, we'll do white. And I'm going to take an angled brush. I want to find one that I have not too wide. 
this will work. Dampen it. It's an angled brush. And I'm going to put red on the pointy part, white on the other side, and I'm going to start loading up my brush. What I'm doing is I'm just filling it up with paint so that when I do my paint stroke, I, you know, hopefully get it all on there, but I'm sure I'll have to do it a couple of times. So I always dab each side because it does fill up with paint. So thank you for being so transparent with your thought process during your creation. Oh, thank you. I do a lot. Sometimes I talk too much. Um, when I paint, whether it's by myself or on a live, I'll, I talk. I talk to myself as I'm painting. <laughs> It's just a habit. All right, so I'm turning the head upside down because that's how I'm able to do this side. I'm going to start here in the inner corner. I think I'm going to leave a little bit of the black eyeshadow. Um, if I go into the eyebrow, I'm not going to be worried about it. I'm just going to keep going because I could always fix that. Want to try to do, if you can't always, but you know, try to do the full stroke. If you can't, it's okay. Just go over it. But start here. And I want to stay. My eyes are going to be kept right here. So that's why I don't see how bad I go into that. Because I'm watching right here. I'm seeing too much paint on there. So I dabbed it. Okay, flip it around. I actually need some more white. Definitely don't want pink. So if your brush starts looking pink, now I'm looking at the eyebrow, okay? As I'm doing this, this direction, I'm looking at the eyebrow. And I'm just following below it. Okay, flip it back around. If my brush is pink, wipe it off, start over and get your red and white. Now I'm watching above the eye. And I just do this a couple of times till I feel like I have a good amount and it looks good. Okay, so if you need more white, you can lift your brush up like this and just do the white part, vice versa for the red. Here I see I need to come a little more here. And I think I'm satisfied. It's fine. It's not perfect, but it's fine. Yikes, messed up there. Hold on. I should have left it. <laughs> should have left it. I'll do it again. Enough. <clears throat> now um, I'm going to do the other side, which is the one I'm a little bit worried about because I only got half a brow. So this is going to be a little tricky, a little tricky. But if I go into him, it's okay because I can paint over it. So when I'm doing this side, for me, I don't have to turn it upside down while while going this way. It just depends on your preference. So 
You know what? I'm just going to switch to a thinner size. See the difference? It's not as wide. If I had a skinnier one, I would use a skinnier one. But I don't. So let's start over. Loading the brush. A little too pink. I'm going to lift my brush up to not get too much into him. I want more red. More red. And don't worry about this part because we're going to do touch ups to clean up those edges. Now I'm going to flip it over, lift my brush up. I'm trying not to get into the Grinch. Keep my eye on this eyeball there. Now I'm going to go into the white, which I need more of. Too much pink. The red mixes with the white and it really gets pink on you. Don't want that. Okay, now we'll start over. Going under the brow. Okay, I think that's as close as I'm going to get it. Just adding a little more red in here. Clean up this part here. So now I'll go back to my black and just fix it. So it looks weird right now, but there's going to be a Grinch there. So that's why it looks a little funny. So remember, if you want to see the ending results, you go to my Facebook page. Um, when I paint the rest of the design. Then she's going to be available in my shop. So anybody new watching... Um, I have a Facebook page, Creepy Holiday Stuff. I also have a group on Facebook called Creepy Corner where I have over 250, 60 tons of tutorials and pre-recorded tutorials, live tutorials, 
all on creating styrofoam head art. It's $20 a month with the option to cancel at any time. Um, it's a great group. It'll definitely keep you busy with all the tutorials available. And also if um, you just want to do a tutorial or two, you don't, I mean, you can cancel any time, but you could also go in my shop. I have some tutorials available in my shop. Creepyholidaystuff.com. Yeah, I think I need to bring this more, more inward. Got to be careful doing this part. Otherwise, you got to do the eyeshadow all over again. I'm just trying to make a sharp, sharp clean. I mean, it would look nicer if it was shadowed in. I might be able to put a little bit of red eyeshadow to make it look blended more into the skin, actually. Which I might do. I don't know. Um, okay. So... I think to make it look more Christmassy, I'm going to go ahead. Oh, color red. It's not a very. Go ahead and do a little glitter on the eye. Let me just put it in front of my fan. I'll bring my fan here. Just make sure it's dry before I put any glitter on there. If you're going to do glitter, you want to make sure you put the glitter before you get those eyelashes on there. So I'm going to do the glitter, and then I'm going to do the eyelashes. And then I will be done with this tutorial. I need to do this, but i got to get this black back. Okay. So it's dry enough to do glitter. Dry enough to do glitter. Okay. So I'm going to take some tacky glue. Whoa, where's the camera? There it is. It's Eileen's Clear Gel Tacky Glue. And I'm going to get, let's see. I'll just use this brush. I think I just want to do a thin line of the glitter, not super thick. So I'm just going to go follow right above the eye line where I actually had the eyeshadow. So. You don't really even need to do the eyeshadow because I ended up covering it. So I'm just going to follow right above the eyeliner. Just for a nice glittery look. You definitely don't want to put too much of this. Um, because it'll drip. Don't put enough to drip. Okay, I'm going to take some glitter. This is red. I'm going to do it over here because I didn't bring a paper to put it on. So I'm just going to sprinkle it right onto the glue I just put. And then just a little dab. Oh, I didn't want to do that. <laughs> I just knocked it over. Now, you want to have a straight brush, angle brush, anything, just to put the glitter where it needs to go. that. 
I'm just having it follow along that um, eyeline eyeliner. Okay. Now for this side, tricky again because we're only doing part of the eyebrow. Actually, oopsie, hold on. I just realized I lost part of my eyeliner with the um, red eyeshadow. Okay, so I gotta let that dry for a minute. You know what, while that's drying, I'll go ahead and put her eyelash on and you could check it out and see how it looks. Once you get the eyelashes on, it makes the heads just really pop. Um, it's a big difference. Um, you can find eyelashes in my shop also. And I also carry the bottom eyelashes in my shop as well. Along with some makeups and brushes. I don't just sell styrofoam heads in my shop. I also have um, other items. Stuff to create styrofoam head art. And a lot of other stuff. There's a lot of categories. Check it out. So I'm going to measure. Because I believe the eye is much smaller. Which it is. So when you're removing. Where's my scissors? Doggone it. Hold on. Now i got to grab my scissors. Careful with the glitter. I tell you. When you get that glitter on the eyelashes. It's trying to get it out almost impossible. What the heck? Where are my freaking scissors? Really? Oh, oh gosh. Right there. Wow. Okay. Uh, I actually purchased your lashes and smooth head tutorial. I am still practicing though. Awesome. Awesome. Did you get, did you get the, 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 I'm stuttering. Did you get the tutorial, the one that was the newer one with the tips and everything? Because my first one is older and I didn't, I didn't, know all the things I know now I've learned to do but it'll still work perfectly fine and it's so fun it's addicting creating styrofoam head art there's so many ideas it's endless when you're trimming the eyelashes only trim from the um, outer end okay and actually you know it might be a good idea I want to show you the proper way because I don't want you to be in a bind because the glitter is such a pain in the butt on eyelashes go ahead and just seal it I'm using triple thick deco art triple thick you can use DuraClear um, brush on seal and also I also recommend before putting lashes to go ahead and spray or seal your head however you plan on sealing it. I'm just not doing that because um, I'm doing this tutorial and I'm going to be painting some more stuff on her. But you can still seal, you know, spray her with eyelashes. It's fine. But it's just recommended to do. I recommend to do before. Yes. Oh, good. You got the one that's the newer. Perfect. Perfect. You'll have to share your creations. Show me what you create. Remember, do not put too much. It'll drip. Oh, my gosh. And then it'll, it'll have a mess. It'll mess up. Um, don't worry if it's a little bit wet. If the, dirt, if the triple thick gets on the eyelashes, it'll just help it. Uh, still better. 
So what I like to do is I take my tacky glue and I like to put a little trim. We'll make sure, make sure that glitter is not in the eye line. Got to have a place for your lashes. I like to put a little bit right on the eye line. It'll help the lashes attach better. Then I take my lash and I put some, not too much. If you put too much on your eyelashes, those eyelashes are going to drip. They're going to slide. You're going to have it glued onto the eyeball. Um, if it does, then when you try to take it off, you're going to take off your paint. And you're going to be super disappointed because then you have to do it all over again. Unless you catch it on time and move it. So when you do lashes, you need to monitor them unless you're using a quick dry glue. Look and make sure it's attached. You need to move it up a little bit. What oh, just stuck to my thingy? There we go. That looks cute. I gotta fix my eyebrow here. I see where it's not easy. Can even maybe paint little ornaments here. I don't know. We'll see. When I go and do this, I might jazz that up a little bit. I don't know yet. And I don't think I'm going to use bottom lashes because I like I like just the smoky look. Let's see if YIT is for Tanya. Oh, Tanya. Okay, awesome. Simply T, Tanya. Good. Now I know your name is Tanya. <laughs> okay, so now um, I'm going to glitter this side. Go right above that eye line. Put it in a corner. All the way up to the Grinch right there. I think I made this. I want to make sure it's as thick as the outside. Okay. Get my glitter. And let the glitter dry before you, um, before you seal it like I did. Again, I'm it just I'm doing it a lot of this because I'm doing the tutorial, but normally you want to let this stuff dry. But it'll still be okay. And it's better to to let it fully dry than do it. She is so far. And I'm watching that eyelash to make sure it don't slide. Normally, I set my heads down like this, and I just monitor it and adjust it if I see it moving or sliding. Um, I just want this to dry so I can takes a while to dry. But I'm going to go ahead and seal it. Like I said, normally don't do that. Make sure you uh, let it dry. But I'm going to seal it so I can get the eyelash on. So I can show you the ending result. Oh, wait. I'm opening that. What am I doing? Let's put this here. Don't want it to fall. Okay. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed. 
got a lot of different videos here. If you have a Facebook, go check me out on Facebook. I go live on there more frequently. It's where most of my activity is. You can also follow me on Instagram, Pinterest, and I do have a TikTok. Still learning how to use it, but I do have a TikTok. <laughs> Remember, not too much, a little drip, and a little mess. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and cut the outside of this lash like I did the other one. Because it's obviously going to be too long. Then right here, oh, oop, oh, oop. Oh. Gotta scoot this litter over. Gotta have room for the eyelash. Okay. Hopefully I scooted it over enough. Just putting the glue there on the eye line. Then I'm gonna put some on the eyelash but not too much. Do this too. Get that nice curve so your eyelash goes on good. Remember, check there to see if it's attached fully. Oh, there she is. Okay. Hold on. Let me, I don't want to knock anything else over. There we go. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on how to paint eyes on a styrofoam head. Um, again, if you would like to see me paint her or would like to see the finished product of this, go to my Facebook page, Creepy Holiday Stuff. Um, I'm going to take a break because i got to walk around. I have a bad leg. So I'm going to walk around. I don't know. I might even go watch the um, Hocus Pocus Part 2 right now. <laughs> no matter what, whenever I'm done, take an hour break or so, hour and a half. I'm going to go to my Facebook and I'm going to paint the rest of her head. And then she's going to be available for sale. So I'm going to scroll to trial. I will see the end results on Facebook. Awesome, Tanya. Thank you. Um, I just can't wait to see the rest. Awesome, Jamie. Jamie, I saw your um, I saw your message. I looked at it really quick. I actually, those are all sold, but I've had some requests for Frankenstein. So I'm going to order some more pre-molded heads and get those painted. I will definitely save one for you when I get them. Or if I can take a drive, I don't have a, I don't have a Joann's here, so I got to drive and I, I still haven't been able to get the mail head for your mummy. So I might have to take a drive. I hate to have to order because we're already going to be October and ordering sometimes takes forever. So don't worry, I got you. All right, everybody, thank you again. Thank you if you shared and you liked. I appreciate it. And um, I'll see you guys on Facebook to finish this up in about an hour or so. All right, bye-bye.